Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrew Laidley. Gas prices are going up, to, are going down rather tomorrow. A liter of 87 and 90 gasoline will cost $3.06 less. Automotive and ultra-low sulfur diesel will both go up by 25 cents. The price of kerosene will increase by 90 cents. 27 cents will be added to the price of propane, while butane will cost 99 cents less. And oil prices settled lower today. Oil for delivery in November fell 72 cents to settle at $39.95 a barrel. More than 80% of oil production in the Gulf of Mexico has been halted as a hurricane delta approaches the region. Supreme Ventures is reporting that its Caymanas Park business generated a profit in August. CEO of Prime Sports, Jesus Johnston, says getting the racehorse business to a place of profitability was a collaborative effort involving multiple stakeholders. So Caymanas Park, when we took it over in 2017, was an ongoing loss-making enterprise. We've invested a significant amount of capital in Caymanas Park. What we're seeing now in 2020 and the profit that we've seen in August are really the green shoots and the output of what has been two very hard years of teamwork with the partners on the ground and the key stakeholders. What we've gotten, I would say, in the last six months coming out of COVID is a sense of cohesion with the stakeholders in the park. That cohesion was tenuous at best prior to this, but now there's a level of alignment that allows us to continue to invest while the breeders, the owners, the jockeys continue to play their part to grow the business. Mr. Johnston says the company is now focused on replicating that trend while improving its profit mar margin. It's just one month of profit, but why is it significant? because since 2017, there was only one other time that Caymanus Park made a profit. And what we're trying to do is continue with the consistency in terms of developing the product and the partnership with the stakeholders so that we can make it a profitable business every month in 2021. The Jamaica National Group will launch its first commercial bank in the United Kingdom on Thursday. In 2018, the JN Group applied for a commercial banking license in the UK. That license was awarded in December 2019. The JN Group says the launch is a part of its commitment to expand the range of services it offers to its members and customers, as well as the Caribbean community in the UK. Jamaica National is also the first Caribbean entity to be awarded a UK banking license. Currency trading ended today with the U.S. dollar selling for $144.48. The Canadian dollar closed at $109.34. The pound is going for $188.58, while the euro is being sold for $172.75. The JSE index gained 480 points today, while the junior market index lost 33 points. Among the winners were G West. Siboney Group, JMMB Group, 7.25% preference shares, Cygnus Credit US Dollar Shares, and CNWJ Cooperative Credit Union Deferred Shares. Now on the losing side were Knoxford Express, Epley, Consolidated Bakeries, T-Tech, and Everything Fresh. And that's the Business Day. I'm Andrew Laidley. Good evening.